Goddess of the Salt Sea, Mother of Dragons, Queen of Chaos, Mother of the Earth, today we look into the Goddess Tiamat. After looking into the Dark Goddess Oracle cards in October, I said that I was interested in doing a brief look into each of the goddesses mentioned in the tarot deck itself. Tiamat has been requested to be the first in this series of the Dark Goddesses and so here we are. Surprisingly, this goddess does not have a lot of things written about her, but she is used an awful lot in pop culture and fiction writings. It was actually fairly hard to find anything about her that wasn't to do with the Dungeons and Dragons or any of the many fantasy stories with her in them. So let's start with what we do know about this ancient Babylonian goddess. She is the deification of the primordial sea the salt part of it, along with her name mate Absu, she brought about the first beings. Little bit of pop culture, Absu is also an amazing video game. Uh, so that should give you some hints as to what Abzu's like. These first beings were the dragons and serpents of the world until eventually she gave birth to the first gods. And from the research I've done, there are now two strands of story, and either of these strands could be correct. In one of the lines, Absu becomes paranoid of his children, rightly it does turn out, thinking that they are planning to murder him. Though in some versions of this tale they are much more like drunken gods throwing a raging party and being too loud for their father. Eventually, they do indeed kill him, and in her rage at what they had done, Tiamat starts a war with them, and eventually she is killed by the hero Marduk. He created the world out of her body, splitting her into two and creating the heavens and the earth. The other line of the story is a lot more muddied, and I've only seen one or two places that actually mention this story, on the internet and in a couple of books I have. Yes, I still read books. Abzu started a war with another god named Ea. Tiamat tried her best to console her partner and soothe his temper to end the conflict, but this did eventually involve Abzu's death. And the lower gods demanded that she fight, uh, that she fight for revenge. This is when she becomes an enemy of the ordered world, becoming the chaos god she is most known for. She builds a new army of dragons and monsters that, with her new consort Quigu, I believe that's the way his name is uh, pronounced. Obviously, please let me know if that is incorrect. Uh, they lead the army against her foes. Marduk once again becomes a hero, incapacitating her with the evil wind, which is some kind of spell, and killing her with a single arrow from his bow. He then once again uses her body to create the world, splitting it in two to form the heavens and the earth, while creating galaxies with her eyes, mist from her spit, and mountains from her breasts. Despite both of these stories only having really minor differences, they both culminate in Tiamat being the earth in which we live. This creation story is not too dissimilar from the creation of Midgard in North mythology, but that is kind of a by point and not really what this video is about. It always interests me how cultures from different parts of the world have similar origin stories, or just similar stories anyway. The war that ended with the culmination of the world was celebrated once a year on New Year's Day, or at least this is what we can gather from, little, from what little information we actually have. Another thing we cannot rightly say is what she actually looked like. She is often given a much more modern depiction of a dragon, or a multi-headed dragon, but this has never truly been pictured in Babylonian drawings or artwork. Most point to the fact that she is the mother of dragons and serpents as to why she would be a dragon being herself. However, she is also said to have given birth to mer people, human scorpions, and other monsters, so possibly her name Mother of Dragons could be changed to Mother of Monsters. Some of the descriptions depict her more as a human with snake legs, a human with a long tail or a woman's upper body with taloned hands and feet with feathered wings. She has many different depictions, but none of these are actually dragons per se. So I hope that this brief look into go the goddess Tiamat has given you something to think about and that you enjoyed our video today. If you are interested in making a request, by all means do leave a comment down below. Interested in offering more support? Then please visit my Patreon as well. And as always, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Take care and goodbye.